Alright, hello! How's it going, boys? What is up? So, back once again for yet another character impressions. This time we have uh, Laguna Blade, uh, Lena Inverse. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> uh, yeah. She she kind of appeared out of nowhere. She she her 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 other version was an SR that was back in twenty sixteen. So it's like really odd, but she doesn't look half bad. Like visual wise, like mm, very very twite, very huge. <laughs> and uh, I tried to roll for harmonia, but disappeared. So. All right, let's fuck around with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, yes, yeah, so she's uh, Earth. She has 2040 HP, 9000 attack. She's a spear-based character. And then her Ogi is unparalleled. Massive Earth damage to a four activate Persistent Pierce. Oh, it's an ODK character? Persistent Pierce is Earth damage to a four so caster's HP, remove one debuff. Wait, so that's a... Uh, that's a clear? Wow. Wait, is that her self only? It sounds like her self only though. When Omar's recollection level is at 10, activates twice. Huh. Omar's Wisdom 2. Earth allies deals triple attacks. Bonus Earth damage effect. Can only be used when Omar's recollection is level 10. Climax cast. Instant CA standby to caster. Additional effect when Oma's recollection level is at 10. CA reactivation one time. Oh, so she's that type of character. But she does look like you can kind of use her for OTK anyway though. Because this one still casts. It's only it activates twice when you get at 10, right? Alright. Oma's recollection. Oma's recollection level rises by 1 upon taking damage. And at the end of turn. Okay. Boost to attack specs based on Oma's recollection level. Okay, so that's the one that is not on the wiki yet. Yeah. I probably have to double check and see if Game With has it. On equal grounds. More likely to be targeted high max HP. Ooh. Okay, so that's why. So that's why there's this. Upon taking damage. So if she has barrier and whatnot, she cannot actually increase her stacks. And I guess one of the good things is that she doesn't consume it because I was afraid that she needs to consume her stacks but it doesn't look like she's consuming. It's just that it might take a while to get there because she needs to get hit or end of turn. So if she doesn't get hit at all, she needs 10 turns. So as long as she's in a rate that she has, uh, what's that, consistently getting like uh, AOE whatever shit, is actually quite good for her, I suppose. Alright, so the only data we have on Wiki, because Wiki is slow. Um, first skill has a base cap of 510k, which is relatively decent for something that allows to be activated twice. Yeah, just okay. So I'm assuming this re remove one debuff is actually to herself only. So she, in a way, she can clear herself twice. Her heal is at 2500. And then this one is... 50% Echo. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Last for treated, 50% Echo. Guaranteed triple attack as well. And then this one is just CA reactivation. Okay, so this one is not shown yet. She has extra 20% extra uh, HP, so that's that's pretty sweet. Alright, uh let me check gun gun game with <laughs> attack specs. Attack is 5% per stack, so up to 50%. Oh yep, it is. Okay, it's exactly the same. Yeah. So it is perpetuity modifier then. Ooh, that's nice. 50% though. 50% perpetuity modifier. Woof. <laughs> That's actually a lot of damage. Damn. <laughs> okay. Not bad. 50% attack uh, perpetuity modifier. 5% uh, double attack. So up to 50% double attack. 3% triple attack. 
up to 30% triple attack and then damage cap 3% up to 30% that is pretty nice and then her hostility is 20% wait 20% yeah, 20%. Wait, no, 40%, sorry. <laughs> the HP is 20% and she gets extra 40% hostility up. Interesting numbers, I gotta say. Those are actually really interesting numbers. EMP. EMP. Um... That's actually okay? Yeah, that actually looks okay though. Like... Two crits, one earth attack up, charge bar gain up. She has a healing as well. Because she does heal quite often to herself, right? So that's actually not bad though. And she can cast twice as well. So she, like, flat out she can heal 5,000 to herself. And then if she gets extra 20% off that is... Not bad. Will she need defense? She might need some defense, yes. She might need some defense, but I think it's fine though, cause it's Earth. Cause you have a guy called Octo. Because it does look like you want to use her with Octo anyway. Just because that uh you can just spam this like crazy. As long as you can get her to uh what's that? 10 stacks, right? Once you get that to 10 stacks, you're pretty much set already. Because I feel like if you use her, right? You don't exactly need chicken anymore. I mean, chicken does give you a very nice buff, but I don't think you really need that. Especially if you're like Titan player or whatever, right? You could just use someone else. You know? <laughs> like Tiger, Chicken. Wait, not Chicken. Uh, tiger or uh, Naru or something. So you can make use of that 50% extra echo or some shit. It's pretty sweet, right? Um... Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, damn, it's kind of hard to choose though which one I want. But... I think... I might say fuck it to healing now. Yeah, I think I might just say fuck it to healing. <laughs> uh, I think I'll max this out first. Milku? Nani Milku? Fine, she did get her her. She did give me one red ring. MET! <laughs> Dude, Max roll MET, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that, that actually might not be as bad because she's going to get hit a lot, right? Supposedly. Then one raid actually allows her to get hit a lot, though. I guess Water Dragon allows her to get hit a lot. Right? Water Dragon. Water Dragon works, I think. Her, stat, her stats is actually not bad. Just by like... I mean, my, my, my stats that I roll for her is like the lowest possible on the red ring as well, so... And then, with just a balance thing, it's a pretty good amount. Alright, so now the question is, what the fuck should I use her with though? Like, I guess I'll just use Octo, but my Octo isn't 100, uh, 140 though. <laughs> 140 Octo would be pretty pog. Yeah, I think I'll just use... I'll, I think I'll just use uh, LXX or something as a X main hand. Yeah, I think that's fine. Extra defense is kind of okay. Kind of helps her out to not die as well. Because I don't think I have any barriers, right? Yeah, I don't think I have any barriers in this team. So, should be good. She's so tiny though, look at her! She's so tiny! <laughs> She's like somewhat on par with like Naru's height by the way. She's so tiny. <laughs> I just realized I have no dispel in this team, interesting. This boss uh, requires a lot of dispels. Alright, I need can use that. Can I also use this? Oh yeah, I can. I'm 
Cool, Ogi. Alright, yeah, she's gonna get hit a lot. Her HP isn't really as high as I thought it would be though. Isn't it? She's the same HP as, as my Samurai Alex though. Yeah, because you see Octo's HP is insane, right? 68k. But then again, it's Octo, my Octo is ring, so that's probably another different thing. Alright, the good thing is that because you see, in a, in a raid like this, she's gonna get hit like all the time. Right? So it actually helps, because in Fortune, she's already 6 stacks. Her damage is actually good though. Yeah, her damage is actually good though. But this one, I don't think I can get her to get hit though. Because, uh... She might die. <laughs> I could try though, but I don't want her to die though. <laughs> I, I really don't want her to die. Yeah, cause that you see that that will hit her a lot. <laughs> Even though you know I have like defenses and shit. All right, there, ten stacks. Oh wait! Oh fuck! I forgot I can extend that one turn! God damn it, I'm dumb. Damn, that would be so sick though. Dude, that would be so sick! Four turns! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> I should have just used it. Bruh, I was... Ooh, that's good damage though. That is good damage though. Not bad. The nukes are not bad. The nukes are actually not bad, man. Damn, if only I had 140 octo, that would be fucking sick, though. <laughs> 140 octo would be so sick. Am I dead? <laughs> Unworldly Ogi? Yeah, man. So in a way she can get her stacks up super fast though. As long as you're in a raid that she can- it always hits her. That's nice man, 4 mil. 
Formula's nice, man. Formula's nice. It's fucking nice. I mean, she, yeah, remember she's a subtickable character as well, man. She's actually not bad, dude. For a subtickable character. Ah, fucking MC so useless. <laughs> Her nukes hit so hard, though. <laughs> Her nukes hit so hard. I could have pressed this too. Oh well, whatever. I mean, it would be a lot more uh, consistent if I had like chicken, I suppose. Because chicken's buff does kind of make up a lot, though. Because you see, I like my MC wasn't capping there, because you know it, it's not really debuffed yet. When there's no debuff, you just can't seem to have consistent damage. But she still seems to be hitting relatively nice dumbers though. <laughs> Even though my, you know, it's not really debuffed yet. I'm not, like, you know. I mean, if she has skill cap on her on her ring, it'll be really nice though. Like, like 3 to 4 mil damage is actually really nice, man. I am, uh... I'm actually pleasantly surprised. She she's actually pretty strong for what you know how unknown she is, right? <laughs> like fuck me, man. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised. Yeah, she's pretty nice, man. I like it. I like it. Very, very nice character. Interesting. It, it has a she has a very simple yet uh, relatively nice uh, skill set. Pretty cool. Good, good. I mean, I'm probably not gonna use her regardless. <laughs> you know, I'm probably not gonna use her in like my standard lineups because you know I have better characters. But for a subtickable character, she's actually not bad. Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> cool. She hits pretty hard, but I feel like she needs a little bit more like stuff like a better ring and shit you know I don't have that because this ring is fucking hot garbage I haven't leveled her EMP yet and like I think once I get her EMP up she's just gonna be like super strong because I do have some well some some crit in here from that <laughs> so that's that's still something I suppose yeah I feel like you probably might want someone else instead of Alex but Alex is actually not bad still or especially in a raid like this and and I'm using Viking as well of all things. But I feel like her main issue is that it might still take quite a, quite some time to get her shit up though. Because you really just need to be in a, in a, in a raid that requires a lot of hits or AoE hits. And just so she can get this up in like 
five turns. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like I got a feeling that her her attack specs, right? It might actually just be somewhat equivalent to some other characters, you know. But I think one of the cool things about her is that her modifier is perpetuity, so it just stacks with everything else. <laughs> Is such a good ass mod, man. This is pretty fucking helpful as well, and is like six turns cooldown, fifty percent echo to everyone, guaranteed triple attacks as well. <laughs> it's like a much, in a way, kind of like a much stronger version than uh, Chicken S3. The only difference is that Chicken S3 gives you extra attack as well, but <laughs> you know. But yeah, I can at least see her being used to a certain extent. Heck, I would even say that her her OTK proudness might actually be not too bad as well. But I don't think you might really I don't think you really want to use her because a lot of times uh like you just use Octo and someone else and you're probably fine already. <laughs> Like, you could literally just use Octo and, and Golden Knight for OTK, and then you're done. <laughs> and then you can just EX plus that shit easily. Kill EX plus, I mean. Like, super simple. I mean, yeah, you like I said even earlier, like, you could you could just slot in, like, Tiger and shit is gonna be nice, because her, her Echo is gonna benefit Tiger a lot, you know? It's gonna be very, very beneficial for her. Them, not her. <laughs> You know, because you know have, they have like fucking double strike, assassin shit going around, uh, going around with that. So it's pretty nice, man. Guaranteed triple. Just so she they can also put up the stacks so much easier as well at the beginning, because it lasts for three turns. And then if you're using Viking, right, you can uh, well put that to four turns, right? Four turns, guaranteed triple and uh, fifty percent echo very cool but i think the only sad thing is that you well can be dispelled right <laughs> the only sad thing that this is dispellable so if you're in a raid that does that the boss does a lot of dispels then this is kind of weak so i feel like most of the time you probably use it in like standard raids for the most part maybe she might be nice for guild war though because uh that this thing only clears herself she doesn't Clear uh, the entire team because they'll be so fucking crazy, isn't it? <laughs> like, imagine this working for the entire party, right? You're clearing two debuffs, man. Right? When you get this to 10 stacks, you're clearing twice. She's clearing twice, right? If that works for the entire party, that's fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm not, you know, thinking about it again, I'm not sure if I want to level the healing though. <laughs> I'm thinking like maybe I'm just gonna level her HP instead, you know? I'll get her cr like this 4 up and now I'll just get her HP and maybe some defense. And I think that sh she should be good already. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with her her HP amount though. Because I really thought it was really really high. Because she, she had the same amount of HP as Alex, right? How much does Alex has right now? You see that? Like raw numbers, right? She is pretty high, right? Compared to hers. But both of their HP is almost identical. So for the boys at YouTube, probably will only see this video tomorrow. <laughs> Cause uh, it's getting really late and I don't really want to sleep too late because Guild War is coming. <laughs> um, Cause I think at the moment, Yo's numbers are not even out on Wiki yet. Oh, it actually is kind of. Oh, they just updated it. Never mind. <laughs> they just actually updated her numbers. Never mind. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, because it took them a while to update that shit anyway. I think this only got updated like... By the time of... Right now, I think you only did that like... One... One and a half hours ago. And yeah, I was still playing Risk of Rain at that time. <laughs> so... Oh well. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for uh, Laguna impressions. For uh, Vera and Vera and Yo is gonna be tomorrow. Same goes for the should you spark video. Probably not though. <laughs> Just because that you have Vera and John in there, it's not like you really need them anyway. 
Alright, okay, bye.